Cover your ears. Okay, it's good. too loud. Okay. Okay, so I stumbled across this site that I didn't even know where it came from. I was happy to check Cakewalk by Band Lab, and I noticed that it was a plugin that I downloaded some time ago. I don't remember exactly where it came from, but I clicked on the VST and kind of fell in love with it. Now this is gonna be another 808 instrument that you can use. Now this is Subdivine Light. It only has six sounds that comes with it. Of course, you can get the full version of it, or you can get the various different plugins they have on DigiNoise website. So this is gonna be phenomenal. I'm gonna show you quickly how to go about downloading it and installing it. So first thing you wanna do is, once you go to the website, I will leave a link. I forgot to leave a link on the last video I had, so I will do the link too as well. I've just been so busy. But anyway, um, I'm gonna to go to Subdivine Light, and you're gonna add it to your cart. Once you add it to your cart, it's right there, Subdivine Light. Free has been added to your cart, view cart. And then there it is right there. Um, and then you're gonna to proceed to checkout. And you're gonna enter your information here. Once you put all your information in, you say, I have read and agreed to the website, place order. Okay, now it is in here twice. I didn't mean to do it twice, but uh, it lets you know right now it's free. Uh, it expires never. Uh, downloads remaining is infinite and Subdivine Light works on the Mac and it works on Windows as well. Click on the Windows version. It downloads right here. Open it up. It's gonna be zipped. It's over here on my other screen. And here it is for DigiNoise Subdivine Light Win. Click on that. And there's a part that shows you how to install it. All right. Download the file, run the install and follow instructions. Pretty simple. All right, so go to Subdivine Light Setup, extract all. You can extract it wherever you want extracted it. Now I do have this installed on Cakewalk already, so I'm not gonna really install it, but I just want you to see all the steps. Subdivine Light Setup, I accept, next, next. And then you install it wherever you want it to install. And then once that's finished, then let's go to Cakewalk and hear what it sounds like. Now I recorded something already with it, but I want you all to see exactly how it sounds. Uh, it is very limited on what you can do with it, but keep in mind that it's just simple. You record with it, and once you record with it, you can do a little manipulation within it itself, or you can just do other tools that's in Cakewalk to actually manipulate the sound the way you want. All right, um, you really gotta check this website out. Did you know it's have a lot of good effects on here, and I know a lot of you are probably familiar with it anyway. I don't know, maybe someone mentioned this in the comments that they wanted me to look this VST up. I believe so, I'm gonna check through all the comments. I think somebody told me to install this and do a tutorial on it. I'm not quite sure, but I gotta find out. But anyway, let's jump to Cakewalk. First, right click, insert instrument. Go down to where it says Subdivine. You might see it up there, or you might see it under Synth. Click Subdivine, Create, and this is what it looks like. Okay, now this is what's available on the instrument. You'll notice that there is ADSR, all right? Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release, all right? In case you don't know what those mean. Um, attack, the ADS is all grayed out, so you can't do anything with that. What you do have access to is the release, right? The release is basically how, well, the sustain and then how long you want that sustain to go before it cuts off. So if you have it all the way down, it's real short. Okay. If you have it all the way up, it's longer. Okay. This is a monophonic instrument, which means that you can't play more than one note at one time. Okay, it just jumps to the next note. There is a pitch band on here that you can see it moves right there. And it's set to 12. 
Okay, 12 semitones up. Semitones are half steps, in case you didn't know that. Or you can adjust it down. So if I can, you know, if I want to do lower amount. Okay. Cover your ears, in case it gets too loud. This one's called Doing It Right. Okay. There is a pre-post on here. And I was playing with it earlier. Normally, I know what pre-post means when it comes to audio. But in this case, it didn't seem like it was really doing anything. I could be wrong. But maybe somebody else has played with this a little bit more. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that's great out. This glide would be nice. You can adjust the volume of it. All of these keys are grayed out. I'm assuming that they're active on the full version, which makes it easier. Uh, this is doing it right. Let's see, thousand fathoms deep. This is not a mouse trap. trap sounds pretty cool all right let's listen to deep weep right, that's cool all right classic sub like that all right and that is all six sounds now, I recorded something here. Now, what I did notice about, and maybe it's just me, I was tripping, um, but when I recorded this, I had it sounding a certain way, and then when I played it back, it's like all the settings disappeared. Um, so I'm having, and it might, let's see if it does it now. Yeah, see, it keeps going back to the beginning. So this drive button, I had it set about right here. And for some reason, whenever, and now if I play it now, it'll probably work, but I saved the project and it still wasn't where I had it at originally. All right, so it's just something cool that I was messing with. But for some reason, this setting will go all the way back to no drive, and then it sounds real weak. Fuzzy. I mean, which is fine. I can turn the gain up, and I can adjust this, and I can add. I definitely can kick this, you know, with some compression and stuff. But this drive does really help really well. That's like the sweet spot right there. All right, so this is a cool plugin that you all can use. Um, I'm going to find a lot more plugins. I know I kind of steered away from doing a lot of extra third party plugins, but a lot of people have been asking me about a lot of stuff. And I'm also going to start doing some other audio plugins that come outside of Cakewalk, uh, just so the way you all have a feel of what's what. But do not not Cakewalk because Cakewalk has a lot of plethora of plugins that I haven't even really tapped into yet. Oh, but they're coming. So don't you go nowhere. And since you're here, how are you today? I hope you feel well. Wherever you are in the world, hope you've been safe and hope that you and your family are doing well. I keep you all in prayers daily. Uh, there's so many crazy things going on in this world. It's hard to look at the news, but I just want to let you know that I do care about you all. Uh, thank you for being a part of this channel and thank you for rocking with me. You know, we almost at 1800 subscribers, you all. And 2000 is right around the corner. And next is 5000 and next is 10,000. And who knows? Maybe even 100,000, maybe even 1 million. What do you think? All right. Well, anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Uh, if you are new to Cakewalk and you don't know how to do anything in this software, 
you need to, first of all, subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell because I post videos weekly. Right now, I'm trying to stick to posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's probably not going to last too long. I'm probably going to go back to doing once a week, but you need to uh, tune in, check out the video content. I have a free PDF that's in the description below that will allow you to look at all the videos, not all the videos, but most of the good videos anyway, that I made on Cakewalk covering different topics. And I have them categorized so the way you're like, oh, well, how do I, you know, mix? You go to the mix, mix section and you'll see, you know, whatever videos I have in that section. 